Hello everyone and welcome back to another session of Elden Ring Focused PvP. You are a little laggy, friend. That's gonna get me. And that's gonna get you. Good trade. Good fight. I've been excited to use the Iron Cleaver for a while now, and it does live up to the hype. Hey! Hello. Shall we? Good fight there, friend. Hello. Oh, we're buffing, huh? Oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, what? Good fight. Not sure why my R2, when I said what, ended so soon, I was still holding R2. <laughs> Something... something's weird. I actually think it might be an issue with some sort of interference with the Bluetooth? to be honest, because I was using my Bluetooth earbuds down here um, the other day, and I was having an issue with them as well. They were disconnecting and crackling, and it seemed like when they were, my uh, controller was around that same sort of time as well. So, maybe something's funky with that? I need to play more with... Um, other games and see if it happens with other games and if it's an actual you know causation and correlation you know I need to I need to actually really delve into it one of these days when I care to do so and I suppose I could just always hardwire my controller I do sit right next to my computer but then they have a wire and I don't want that you know <laughs> hello there friend Okay. Buffs for you, not for me. Well, that's fine, I suppose. I would say a good fight, but you did attack me while I was buffing after I let you buff, so... You know. Hey. What straight sword is that? Oh, we have a little bit of lag on you. Okay, bye-bye. Got buffs. Got buffs on buffs on buffs. Shall we? Got the trade. Hello. I see a claymore. Couple spins and we're ready to go.
Um. I think I should have hit you. Oh, you're a slidey boy now, too. on that because I, I do think I should have hit him earlier in the fight. Hello. Liking the fashion. Good fight there, friend. Hello, everyone. I'm back. It's a new day. Took a little break from the recording of this to... Um, oh, boy, that's some bleed right there. friend. I took a little break from recording this to record the, um, the weapon showcase on the Morningstar and Great Stars. It was a good time. Hey. Hello. Okay. You have rivers and we're doing one of these. That didn't stun you. There we are. Good fight, friend. Hello, Nomad. Hey! I can do that too. Not a trade, darn. I disagree with that hitting me, to be perfectly honest. Enough stamina, gotta be a little more careful. <laughs> Good fight, friend. Time to switch the weapon.
The hitbox on that is extremely precise. Good fight there, friend. We have a cosplay. That's neat. And a crossbow, so not quite, actually. No roll catch. Bit of a shame. I am surprised you got away from that. Maybe don't jump in the air and be an easy target. Hello over there, Pat. I rested so I could put on Barbaric Roar instead. Just because... Oh geez, that range. Oh, I missed. I didn't miss that time. It's silly. Barbaric Roar is silly. And I love it. I just, I love it. Hello over there. We've got some, uh, bleedy things. Oh. We've gone for a regular R1. Or running. That's a little scary, that bit of movement you got there. Props for trying to land the R2, but that that wasn't the time. So you guys ever just have a day where everything that could go wrong does go wrong? Because that, that was my day today. My phone is damaged. I started to build a NAS for storing a bunch of things. We've gone for an R1 there. You have done quite a bit of frost. I'm just going to fix that problem. Ease. This is an extremely annoying to fight. Picked up my uh, hard drives for my NAS because my NAS arrived today. My hard drives that I ordered arrived at the store. Went in, picked them up, got everything all set up. Two of the three drives for my NAS were dead on arrival. My One of the drives from my old NAS was also not working properly with the new one. Just wasn't working well. I spent four hours on the phone with Samsung to deal with shenanigans. It's just been a day. Samsung, I like their phones. I can't say I like their products. I like their phones. Um, but they've, they've disappointed me today with how they're handling the uh, defect in my phone. The screen is just defective, straight up um, wearing itself out. Right on the, uh, right on the crease because I have a flip. So, 
Shame on me for having a flip. I think that's really the big moral of the story here. Don't get a folding phone. Um... Uh, I, I really wanted you to come in on that. Oh, that hurts. Don't think I can poke him. That was my chance, and I, I whiffed it. Good fight, though, sir. But, yeah, I spent about four hours today talking with Samsung about my phone, because on the left-hand side of the screen, right on the crease, there are four horizontal lines, and at the beginning of the week, there were two. Um, ow, hello range, excuse you. Bye-bye. So yeah, at the beginning of the week there were two, now there are four. The two that were originally there have increased from about two millimeters in length to four millimeters in length, and the new two are both at two millimeters in length. So I'm willing to bet that in a handful more days, they'll also be larger and more problems with the screen will start to arise. But meanwhile, Samsung, when I first was talking to them, was insistent that I cracked the screen on my phone and that it's not wear from the hinge when it's not cracked. It's it's very clearly where from the hinge, given that it's on the hinge. And, yeah. So, I'll tell you the resolution that they've offered me in the next clip. So, the resolution that Samsung offered me. Uh, there were two options. I could either trade my phone in, for the full value in spite of it being cracked, which is apparently a huge favor and it's definitely not cracked. Ow. Aw, you're lagging. That's not fun. Someone jiggled the cord. Jeez. So yeah, I could trade in the phone in spite of it being quote-unquote cracked, or the alternative is I could send it out to them and be without my phone for a week. Great options, right? So I looked on the Samsung site, went with the first option, the guy on the line helped me out, we ordered a phone. But it turns out that there was an issue with the site at the time, and the... ow. The uh, value for my phone, for the trade-in, was actually the same as the value of it uh, if it were the Z Fold 3, as opposed to the Z Flip. Okay, that was not a smart idea. So, we didn't know that until after the fact, well, we go ahead, mark the thing to trade in the phone for getting a new one. Um, order goes through, everything's peachy. Well, turns out the guy notices, oh, hey, wait a second. This is an error on our site. You weren't supposed to get it for that trade-in value. I'm going to have to put you on hold, transfer you to the sales team, so on and so on and so on. Well, it turns out at that point, this was the guy I just fought, I'm going to get a rematch on him. Um, turns out at that point, they can't cancel the order and they won't honor the price. So the phone is being shipped to me regardless. I'm stuck with my current phone until the new phone comes and I have to refuse the delivery because if I accept the delivery and then send them my phone instead, instead of, the, instead of a fold, they'll charge me the full value of the phone they're sending me. Hey! So I have to refuse the delivery and then I have to contact them again to let them know that I have refused the delivery. 
So not only are they not honoring the incorrect price on their site, but they're also inconveniencing me. Which is just spectacular. Tracking on R2s is really freaking good. I was trying to turtle poke, so I didn't do that. Good fight, friend. Yeah, I'm not a fan of repeating thrusts. I think it needs a bit more hyper armor on the startup of the attack. I'm going to switch that off. So yeah, basically everything involving my phone is locked at the moment, hey! account-wise. I can't trade in this phone. I can't repair this phone until the, uh... Ow. I appreciate your usage of stamp. I don't know how you didn't take any damage from the wind. I guess we'll go for a turtle poke. We can handle it. As long as he doesn't do it with a jump attack. That was a dumb move. That was a very dumb move. I knew he was going for stamp, and I know you can't block that with a small shield. That was stupid. <laughs> Hello. Sorry about the uh, wait. <laughs> Excellent use of that. Oh, you are a clever one going for Poison Moth Flight. You are interesting and I appreciate you. I'm actually just going to rest. That makes more sense. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Is it even an Elden Ring video if there's not at least one Guts cosplay? The confidence that there'd be an attack. Ooh. -hoo. I need stamina. That's that's fine. He's a lagging. Someone's jiggling the cord. Hey! You are holding a bow and have a crossbow on your back. Are you... Richard? Richard? Are you trying to do what I think you're trying to do? You are. Uh, that arrow clearly went behind me. shot. 
close to being poisoned. I'd rather that not happen. But that's okay at this point. Bravo, Richard. Bravo. You did turn me into a pincushion. I will give you that. Hey! Hey! Hello there, Percy. Okay, maybe running right into it is a bad idea. Okay, when Storm Assault hey. actually lands properly, it's not half bad. That was a very satisfying kill. I liked that. Hey. Hello there, friend. Okay. That's the wrong one, but that's okay. Okay, that was hey. worth doing. That that was definitely worth doing. Switching on the horn charms. It's a strat. It works. It's really beneficial. Would recommend. Hey. Hello over there. You are fashionable using two knight swords. I can appreciate that. Okay, my plan here is to get him close to me. I didn't expect that much damage on the counter hit, I'll admit. I have come to appreciate Storm Assault. I have come to appreciate Storm Assault quite a lot. I do believe this is the last fight hey! for the video. Hey! So, friend. Why don't you... Why don't we heal up? Let's, let's extend this a little bit. I appreciate you trying to go for parries. I am concerned by your choice in the buckler, to be perfectly honest. Yes, it will function, but it doesn't actually have as many parry frames. Um, I was behind you. I, I don't necessarily know how you ended up hitting me with that, to be honest. But good fights, regardless. Either way, I did say that was the last one, and that does hold true. It is the last fight of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, though. I appreciate you all stopping by. I appreciate you sticking out to the end, if you did stick to the end. As far as our question of the day, because I suppose this is just a thing that I'm doing. I don't want any war in the comments on it, but who do you prefer? Samsung, Apple, or a third party? Let me know who, let me know why, and we can have a pleasant conversation 
down in the comments. If there's any arguing, it's not, I don't want it to be like a brand war down there, but there are valid reasons to like and dislike both. So, let me know what you all think. Either way, thank you all for stopping by. As I said, I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all next time.